me show you one of Herco's most popular machine tools. This is the latest generation of their compact offering, the VM1. It has improved travels over its predecessor, a massive envelope for such a small footprint machine. If you're after a machine with a mind-blowingly good price point, then look no further than the VM1 here from Herco. A machine that has a very tiny footprint, but a very large table. Is that right, Rowan? Exactly. So we've got a 660 mil travel in the X. This has got a massive envelope on the inside of the machine, whereas the absolute, the outside can be fitted in, in many small machine shops. Now this is the entry level, this is their latest generation of compact machines. So this is the VM1, which supersedes all the older generations and they've chosen a slightly bigger casting but tried to get the covers as small as possible to fit this machine in. We've got an 8,000 RPM spindle, 16 tools. Now that means you can do as many operations as you probably would want to on, a, on parts of this size. If you look at the Microlock base plate, you've got reconfigurable jaws. If you look at the size of the parts on the machine right now, we could probably fit six of those parts on the, on the base plate, meaning you could probably run these cycle, if there's a, I don't know, if it's an hour cycle time on each, each, uh, each part, then you could probably run this machine for six hours straight without any, any need for operations. And what about automation? You know, I know that Herco brought in a lot of automation into their machines in that world. We want that spindle to keep turning. Does it work with this machine? Exactly. So Herco offered the Pro Cobot system, which is a modular uh, re a plug and play system which you can plug into the machine uh, with a single connector. As long as you pre order the machine with an automatic door, then you can have uh, automation on the front of your machine as seamlessly and simply as possible. What do you like about the machine? Personally? Well, I quite like the control actually. Okay, well, so, let's have a look at this then. Uh, so I spent about, f I've, I've done, worked with some conversational controls in the past, but never the WinMax. Uh, from Herco, and I've, I've actually, it took me about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes to actually get up, to get to grips with setting up, uh, setting up contours, setting up segments. I found uh, one of the applications engineers showed me how to import DXFs, you can pick contours from DXFs. So if you've got a lot of 2D parts that you want to do on a 3X machine, you want to fit a lot of parts in a machine for a, for a small footprint, then this is definitely the machine for you. And were you shocked about the price? Absolutely, it's a, it's a crazy price for a and, new machine tool. And how did you measure the width of the machine? Exactly, well, I had, I had to get down and, uh, Go on then, show and us. measure it. Okay, so the width of the machine is approximately, I think, 1.8 metres, if you look <laughs> at my head. We're just about that. So, uh, well, yeah, well, you can stay down there, it's <laughs> fine. There you have it, a mind-blowingly um, incredible machine at a wonderful price point. Maybe you can get home now, Rowan, okay, I don't know. Right. Thank you. <laughs>